Cassie here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for October 16th through the 31st. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, also Venus. This is a general love reading. It will not resonate with all of you guys. Do only take the message if it resonates with you. So let's hop into this reading, Gemini, and let's see what messages we have for you guys in love. October 16th through the 31st. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Messages for the sign of Gemini and love, October 16th to the 31st. What does Gemini need to know about their love life, October 16th through the 31st in love? If you guys have a quick question, I am on Instinto as fire underscore intuition. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And I would love for you guys to follow me on IG, Gemini, as fire underscore intuition. So let's hop into this reading. Cards are flying out everywhere. I'm going to shuffle up a couple more times. Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys can be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. If not, I feel like someone's been back and forth. Okay, so you guys been in a relationship that's unstable. Maybe there's a separation between you and someone. We do have the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So um, this could have definitely been a third party situation here for some of you guys. Okay. But if not, it's like you're wanting to like start over with someone. You definitely want to reconcile wanting this person to come back towards you. So um, let's see what we got. Let's shuffle up your um, spirit messages. I will go over these at the end with the Romance Angels. Messages for the sign of Gemini, October 16th to the 31st. We have Watch Your Thoughts that came out. We have Ready, Set, Go. Let Yourself Receive. All right. So we will go over these at the end, Gemini. So let's see what we got for you guys. All right. So we have the Nine of Swords starting out. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. So there definitely was some deception here. There definitely was some betrayal. Okay. Two of Swords. Um, I look at this as your energy, Gemini. Maybe you've been confused about something. Maybe you are dealing with another Gemini that's been confused about a situation, two of swords. Someone definitely needs to make a decision here. Okay? Um, someone needs to make a decision. Someone's not expressing how they feel. And then the other one is, like, really hurt. Okay? So, we have the four of wands. This definitely is a relationship or a marriage. We have the seven of swords. There definitely was some... Definitely was some deception and betrayal here. Eight of swords. So, yeah, the nine, the seven, and eight, the two. Yeah, you guys definitely... Um, yeah, like someone has you in your head right now. Sleepless nights, anxiety, stress. You're worried. Um, with the nine of swords here. We have the knight of swords. More swords energy. So, you, you guys, this energy has been really scattered lately, it looks like. Someone's made you really mad or um, every time you guys talk or communicate, the conversation isn't going well with the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Swords. So, you like trying to break free. Um, I feel like you want to work on the relationship or you try to work on this, but you feel stuck. Every time you try to work on it, this person is still lying. So, there's still deception here. Two of Swords, the Four of Wands. Why is this Two of Swords here? The Ace of Cups. So, yeah, this person is, like, not making a decision. They're in love with you and they're in love with someone else. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's in love with you and with someone else. Okay? And you feel, like, rejected by this person or you just feel like the love is unrequited. Because, remember, they're coming in as a, the Knight of Wands, the overall energy. Okay? So, you know that they're with someone else for sure. And they just keep lying to you. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Eight of Swords? The Five of Pentacles, yes, you feel left out in the cold. 
by this person, the Eight of Wands. I feel like lately you've blocked out their communication or with the Eight of Wands, like you guys have been communicating on working things out or coming back together, but they're still lying. They're still, they still haven't made some type of decision. Yeah. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. This is you. You're fed up. You're about to cut this person out if you haven't already with the Queen of Swords. Because you just see that they're never going to change or that they're lying. Or they're going to stay in that other relationship. And we have the Six of Swords. This can be a long distance relationship. They can be at a distance. For some of you guys, I, I see you guys traveling to this person to cut them off. Or like you guys just seen each other. Like you just traveled to this person or just traveled to you. And like now you're about to cut them off. Or like every time you guys seen each other, you were traveling to this person. And now you're about to cut things off, Queen of Swords. Yep, see, King of Cups. Remember I told you guys, someone definitely was in with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I kept seeing him when I was shuffling. And there's been some deception and betrayal here. Someone that you thought, you know, you were... So you were with someone and you thought that, you know, this person had a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions for you. They've been lying. I don't feel like this person doesn't have feelings and emotions for you, but they've been lying. They definitely been keeping secrets. They definitely have someone else. For some of you guys, they can be in some type of commitment. Or you found out the person you were with was with someone else. So with the Six of Swords, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're putting an ending to it. The Ten of Wands, it's like you, like, you were just doing way too much. You did everything you could to keep this person happy, to see this person... Like I said, you will constantly travel to them, you know, um, or you are the one always going to see them. But now it's like you're just like you're ready to walk away. You're ending it. Whoever this King of Cups is, it doesn't matter. Emperor and the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're turning your back on this person. So walking away from the relationship or the commitment. And it's because they won't commit to you or you found out that they were in some type of commitment. And then with the Page of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away. So I, I, I have like three cards of you guys walking away. So walking away, you're fed up. You're definitely fed up. And with the four of cups, it's like you guys keep talking, clearing the air, talking things through. You guys get back together only for it to come back to where it is. The stars, some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. And it's like every time you guys get back together, you have hope. Things are great. There's a renewal. And then you find this out. Or there's a renewal and this person's still lying. The king of swords and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, see? Some of you guys are definitely dealing with another air sign. Another Gemini, an Aquarius, or Libra that has been in some type of commitment, Queen of Pentacles. Or they keep telling you that, you know, like when you guys get back together, like, oh, I'm not with this person, blah, blah, blah. And then you find out that they're lying, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. So whoever you guys been dealing with, they've been lying, and you're fed up. Or they keep lying, and you're fed up. Yeah, definitely. This person is lying. Yeah, Page of Wands and the Sun card, the Justice card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. They're going to try to turn things around. Or, um, yeah, for some of you guys, you're dealing with a Libra and they're going to try to turn things around. They're going to open up communication. Justice is them finally ending something. So if you guys are dealing with a Libra, it's possible that they could be ending something. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, there was an ending to that. Two of Pentacles, they found balance. The Ten of, um, I mean, the Two of Pentacles, you know, they found balance now. Um, they're ready for something. The Ten of Cups, that would have been an ending, a completion. So that relationship, that situation is over with. And, like, now they're ready to be happy with you and have something with you. But I just feel like if you guys were dealing with a Libra in the past, it's like they just kept lying, lying, lying. They kept telling you they were leaving this person, so you don't know what to believe. But, like, now they're being honest. So this is like the little boy who cried wolf. Now they're finally coming to you and telling you the truth and you just don't believe them. And they really left this person. Um, and then for some of you guys with the Page of Wands, it's like you walked away, you've met new people, or you've been talking to new people with the Page of Wands. And we have the Sun card here. We have Justice here. So I feel like maybe a Leo or um, a Libra might cross your path. And I see things being positive with that. Yeah, see, because we have the Devil and we have the, um, the Death card. So, like, you're coming out of something toxic, ending something. Something's definitely coming to an ending. It could be with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, and something new is coming in with the Death card, for sure. Yeah, Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Some of you guys have a soulmate coming in. Ace of Swords, victory in that. Okay, so, like, leaving something. 
coming into something way better. Okay. So for the overall energy, we have the two of cups. We have the page of pentacles. We have the fool. Yeah. So for the overall energy, you guys are just starting over. Something new. Starting over. Whether it's with this person or someone new, you're starting over. Two of cups. Like I said, a lot of you guys have a soulmate coming in with a higher font. It could be the Taurus. But definitely a soulmate coming in where there can be some type of commitment. Page of pentacles. An offer is coming in. But this is an offer with a commitment. Not just an offer. Not someone like, oh, let's date. Let me take you out to dinner. This is like an offer. Like commitment. And then we have the fool, and we have the hangman. So I feel like, you know, after coming out of this situation, for some of you guys, you guys are just going to chill because you're you're trying to let go and surrender the past. You're letting go of the past. And there's going to be some type of new beginning, but you're taking your time to let go of the past so that you can start something new, and then that's when this new love or this person is going to come in. Okay? So let's pull some romance angels for you, Gemini. Romance Angels for the sign of Gemini and love, October 16th to the 31st. We have Healing Family Issues. We have You Deserve Love. Did it fall flat on the ground? No. And then we have Codependency. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So I feel like if this is someone new coming in, it's like you're going to give it a chance. Like you're going to work on your partnership. Like I feel like you're hurt over what happened in the past, but not allowing that to stop you. Okay, um, this one fell flat down. You guys know I take the cards when they flip over, but I've seen it. It's calling me your soulmate. So some of you guys have been manifesting someone new to come in. Okay, um, but I definitely feel like you guys are going to give this new relationship a chance. All right. So let's clarify these romance angels. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And we have the lover's card here. Okay. So I definitely feel like there's some healing that's needed. Okay. Um, all right, Gemini. So with the healing family issues card, we have your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And then we have the lover's card. The lover's card is about choices. So when I look at this card, this is about either you or the person you guys are with um, needing to release any anger towards one or both of your parents, okay? Maybe it affected you in some type of way. Maybe you, maybe you felt as if there wasn't some support from your mother or your father, maybe from both of them. Maybe they made wrong choices as a couple and you were growing up and it has affected you. And with the lover's card, it's like you seeing that the choices you've made in love have affected you and it comes from your parents from your childhood okay and that's what they need to realize or you need to realize so for some of you guys your love life is being affected because you guys are holding on to resentment hurt pain anger or whatever towards one of your parents mother or father and it's affecting your relationships so your choice with the lover's card is to let that go to heal that so you can um have better choices in love or for them make the right choice in love okay and then we have you deserve love you are lovable and with that look what we have the four pinnacles so you guys were holding on to someone you thought there was love there there could have been love there but this is you knowing like you deserve love you're lovable and they're not giving you what you want they're not giving you the love that you want to need so letting go not holding on and then we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life and then we have the queen of cups so we know the Queen of Cups, this is called dependency. Why? Because the Queen of Cups is like very emotional. She's devoted to someone. She gives unconditional love. She has a lot of love for someone. Very compassionate, very loving. You know, the Queen of Cups is someone that you can um, go to when you're, you know, need a shoulder to cry on, all of that. And you are open to that person. You gave this person unconditional love. You are very compassionate. Everything you gave all, you like gave your all to this person emotionally. And it caused codependency, but I feel like um, even in previous relationships, because we have the four of pinnacles, this can be patterns repeating with the four of pinnacles. You're like, dang, how come every time I'm with someone, the same thing is happening? And that's because with the queen of cups, giving too much of yourself to someone emotionally. Okay, so let's go over your spirit messages. And that would be your reading, Gemini. So we have watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. And when we have... Um, the seven of wands 
okay so i feel like a lot of you guys um with this watch your thoughts you guys have been um you know what i'm trying to say very defensive okay you guys been very defensive um maybe ready for an argument maybe ready you know to confront this person or whatever it might be but just really needed to watch your thoughts really needed to walk away and back down withdraw from the situation okay and then we have ready set go now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire and we have the seven of cups so what is it that you really want now it's time for you to focus on what you want with the seven of cups and no longer be confused so it's now the time okay so whatever it is you want it's time for you to go after it and then we have let yourself receive allow others to give you loving care receive without guilt or apologies and look we have the two of wands okay so for some of you guys um the two of wands this is someone new crossing your path and you're gonna let yourself receive this time you're gonna finally allow someone to give to you okay two of wands because you gave so much okay so some of you guys aren't scared to take the next step you're allowing new love to come in and this new love someone is going to like i said they're going to give to you yes you look ten of pentacles all right so you're finally gonna you know get that emotional bond with someone have that commitment that marriage that relationship whatever it is and you deserve it so it's coming towards you guys okay so let yourself receive it's time for you guys to focus on what you want walk away withdraw back down okay think positive okay i love you gemini that is your reading if you guys want to book a personal reading with me all my information is in the description box below and i will talk to you guys again soon all right bye